Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, it's not my usual setup. Um, it's a face reveal, even though I have tons of videos with me in it. I get a lot of comments saying, oh my gosh, you should do a face video or something. So for those who are new here, hello, it's me, Hexgen. If you're wondering why I'm talking like this, I do have my Invisalign on. I'm like spitting everywhere. You're pretty much in the splash zone. But yes, winter is coming and I love it. So if you're wondering what this video is all about, you see the title over here. It's going to be me answering your questions from Instagram. So here we are and here you are. I got a lot of questions. So thank you for sending your questions. And let's get started. Favorite doll you've repainted? My all-time favorite doll is Hatsune Miku. It was my very first intensive custom from head to toe where I took off the face, I repainted the face, and I made the outfit. So I was really, really pleased, and I'm proud of that creation, and that's my all-time favorite doll. When did you start learning how to repaint dolls? I would say maybe three years ago. Um, three or four. I believe I started in 2013. What inspired you to start repainting dolls? I have been obsessed with dolls from the beginning. However, during high school, I discovered the BJD fandom, the BJD ball jointed doll community. I remember seeing all those dolls and I was so surprised at how creative people can be with them because you can customize everything. And at first I was like, oh my god, they're actually painting on the doll. Like, won't that come off? Like, they're changing the eyeballs and all that, they're making the wig, the outfits, and, you know, the, their sides go from here to, like, here. So I was really, really impressed, and I was just so intrigued, and my love for customizing dolls just started there. How did you get all your tools for repainting dolls? So, um, if you guys have watched my first materials video, it has been updated for quite some time. I started from really, really bad materials, too and you will see it in my materials video. I need to make an updated one, I know. I talked about using Krylon, which don't use Krylon. It will leave the face sticky and wet and moist and it's just not great for the face up. I think it's great to practice with the doll, but you know, leaving it for a certain amount of time, it will get sticky and gross. So I do not recommend it. It takes time and it's an investment when it comes to the tools and the materials. Because there are certain brands that will work for the dolls and some of them are just really, really expensive. Do you have a background in makeup? I mean, I can do my own makeup, like natural, I guess, makeup, like everyday makeup, but I can't really do like drag makeup or like creative makeup, I guess. I mean, I haven't really tried it, so I guess the answer is no. How much layers of sealant do you use for one doll? 10 to 20. It just depends on the face and the look I'm going for. What's the best way to remove factory paint? Acetone. Which repaint is next? You will see. Is making wigs easier or rerouting easier? I think rerouting is much easier. However, styling reroutes, I feel like for me, is more difficult to achieve. I love creating specific styles for the wigs. I want them to be as close to my sketches as possible. And for me, rooted hair just doesn't cut it. For me, wigs are easier to style because I can style it while I'm making it. However, it is more intensive, it's mundane, it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of time, and it just takes a lot more effort to make a wig. However, for me, at the end, styling it looks better. How do you make the lips look so natural and detailed with pencils? I have to make sure that the pencils are really, really sharp and pointy, and also I do a light hand. I think what they're talking about is when they do like the lines, and that is like really, really popular with the BJD community when they come with like the lines and stuff. You just need to be very, very careful to not break the tip of the pencil. Do you have some hacks for people with trembling hands? Can't draw straight, neat lines because of it. I actually have shaky hands as well. Um, when I'm drawing, I have to really be comfortable at a position and I make sure I am resting my hand on something. I, I sometimes even hold my hand so I have something to rest on. That's what I do at least. I don't know if there's other tips I can share that I do. Hmm. How much yarn does it usually take to make a wig? If you buy like the really big yarn, like the bulky yarn, um, I would say 25% of that will be used for wigs. Just depends on how long you want the yarns to be. 
About how long of time do you spend time working on dolls? It all depends if it's just a repaint, for example, like my Ever After High repaints. That can take me one week. If it's a intensive doll, like my Little Pony series, it can be two to three weeks. I have school and I actually have a day job, so I can't work on these dolls completely straight. Like, I would love to do that, but I can't. So sometimes I actually stay up late at night. And you guys would know if you are on my Instagram live stream, I would stay up till like 8 a.m. to work on my dolls. Especially if I'm off the next day, I would literally work all that night and I'll just like, you know, go to sleep. So for some reason, I have become an official night owl and I'm okay with it. On average, how much does a doll usually cost to make? Um, when you factor in the materials at first, it can reach to a hundred already. And then you factor in the clothes, the hair, and all of that materials. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of money. <laughs> Where does your inspiration to make these dolls come from? For the most part, my first inspiration when it comes to my dolls are fashion. I want them to have a certain silhouette. I want them to look like they're coming out of the runway or they're walking the runway. I'm into the whole extraness of it. You know, I, I love anime as well, so there's a lot of anime inspiration with my dolls, especially with the eyes. Yeah, it's just fashion and drag queens. How are you able to draw the eyes and eyebrows so symmetrical without flipping the dolls like a hundred times? I actually think that my faces are not symmetrical. When I look at them and I flip it onto a mirror, that's how you can actually tell. And you will see all of the flaws. And I feel like my dolls are not symmetrical at all. Like, they're not twins, they're not sisters, I feel like they're distant cousins. It's hard because I'm right-handed, so it's hard for me to draw the left eye because I always start with the right eye, obviously. Um, so the first eye is so perfect, it's so beautiful. And then when I do the left eye, it's all like crooked or like it's not the right size, it's not the right wing. So it's hard and I, I'm, I'm trying to learn from it. So now what I started doing is I draw the left eye first. I take the left eye and I do that as my first eye and then I just do the right eye. It still, it still doesn't look right, but I'm kind of, I'm trying. <laughs> Do you know any good sealants except Mr. Super Clear? Um, no. Other doll repainters have other um, sealants that they use. However, for me, I stick with Mr. Super Clear. For me, it's easier to get. It's easier to work with. Um, it is toxic. So I literally do not breathe when I'm spraying it. So I'm, I'm, I'm really blessed when it comes to that because I know it's harder for people to get it. Do you plan on making more completely original dolls that are not based on already existing characters? Thank you. That's not a compliment. <laughs> um, yes, most of my original characters I feel like is not appropriate for the wide audience. Either their stories or their clothing. They're usually not clothed at all. I feel like they're just a little too sexy sometimes or they're just not appropriate. See, and I feel like people don't care as much when it's not a character that they know. So maybe that's just my mentality, but let me know if you guys want to see more original characters and I will start publishing them as dolls. Which is your favorite character in My Little Pony? Rarity. What is your favorite kind of doll to repaint? I really, really love Ever After High dolls because there's, it's so easy to make any type of eye. Like you can do like a dramatic eye and it works. You can do a dramatic cat eye and it works. You can do a small eye and it works. You can do like manga eyes and it works. So I feel like it's a, I mean, it's a flat surface to work with. So any eye works with a ever after high. Too bad they're not in motion anymore. Can you do a series of Disney villains? Why not? Okay, so if you wanted to start this hobby, what are the essentials needed? I will make an updated materials for you guys. Do not worry. Would you consider selling traditional artworks? Which means their sketches, paintings, etc. on eBay. Well, thank you so much for taking interest in my sketches. I feel like they're just sketches and they're not full blown. But maybe if I created like a great sketch. I do love sketches. I love the look of them. I love how they're ruggedy and they're just not finessed. I feel like that's my style. Um, but maybe in the future, why not? Do you have any tips for people who want to start doll repainting? Practice. Drawing on a 3D object is harder than it looks. Like, even if you know how to draw, drawing on a doll was so hard and awkward. 
What are your favorite techniques, art supplies? I never managed to make the eyes and lips look so smooth and soft, so I'm curious how Sensei does it. Thank you. <laughs> it takes a while to get used to drawing eyes and lips, for sure. My style at least, I love my eyes to be very graphic and very illustrated. I always use like black for my eyes. I feel like if it's not black, it's not perfect and finished. But that's just my personal taste. So I would say develop a style that you like. Draw it on paper first or research other artists that have your similar taste and maybe mesh it all into one. Um, not all of us share the same exact taste when it comes to aesthetics. I watch a lot of animes and I actually drew inspiration from the animes I grew up watching. For the lips, I actually use a very, very blunt brush with pastel and I color that in. You have to layer the MSC to make it very vibrant, but yeah, it's it takes a lot of time. You just, you just have to practice and you'll get there. There's another way to repaint dolls without watercolor pencils. What method is it? Paint. You don't even need MSC for paint. You know my froggy stuff, she does a lot of customs with just paint and you can do that. You just need really really small tiny brushes and acrylic paint and you can just either draw over it or redo it. Change the eye color with paint. You can erase the eyebrows and do the eyebrows really easily and also the lips. So that's something you can do with paint. Will you be selling any more dolls? Hopefully in the future yes. I'm getting overwhelmed with dolls here and it's actually really bad. Like, I don't have storage for them. How do you keep yourself inspired? I try to post videos every week or every two weeks. Pulling out videos and pulling out ideas can be hard sometimes. So I do follow other artists. I love Happy D Artist. She's so positive. I love all of her paintings and I love her aesthetic. It is very colorful, surprisingly. However, I do love it. And I love listening to her um, videos too. They just keep me so inspired and happy. It makes me happy. It makes me happy that I'm doing what I'm doing. I love Amber Carr as well. That's the aesthetic that I go for, I guess. I love the Popovi sisters. I look at their dolls every single day. So yeah, I follow a lot of artists. It's so like generic. I follow artists, you know, I love art. Obviously the doll community um, repainters, Delightful, Color Theory, Nicole's Dreams, uh, you know, like all of them. Every single doll artist on my feed inspires me. Would you like to make a Hexton doll? I would love it. Well, thank you for taking the interest. I have been planning to, and my birthday actually just passed. And I thought that would have been so cool to debut a YouTube video for my Hexton doll. Um, but right now I'm working on Fluttershy. Yay! So how does the MSC help the doll's coloring? MSC helps because it helps with the coloring. I don't know, it's so hard to explain it. I feel like I'm not great at explaining things. Um, here, let's do this. So think of this as a blank space. I can show you incredible things. Magic, madness, heaven, scent. Saw you there and I thought, okay. And then you spray it. And then you drew over it with pink, right? Or red. You want it to be red, but it comes off as pink. If you spray it again, it will be like this. You see how it's darker? This to this. It's more opaque. And then go ahead and spray it again. Now we have three layers. And there you go. Look how opaque it is. So that is MSC. It's literally layer by layer. Spray it for the fourth time. You can't even see my background anymore. See? This is too light. So this is MSC. That is what MSC does. It helps you layer. It's like Photoshop. So from this to this, where you can't see it. And so when we talk about layering MSC, that's what we mean. Your favorite custom so far? I would say my Rainbow Dash doll, even though it got a lot of heat. How are you so still? How do you paint little details with those watercolor pencils or pastel? I forgot what it's called, sorry. It's okay. I literally have to go to my doll like this. And sometimes I don't even film it because literally you'll see my face on the doll. But I have to draw on the doll like this. 
I just like making me like blind. That's what I do. <laughs> What is your entire list of doll repaints that needs to be done? Love you forever, Hex, and still do. Thank you. That's a secret. That's Alyssa's secret. Got a secret. Can you keep it? What was the most annoying doll moments for you? It's when people still, till this day, comment on my Rainbow Dash video saying that she's a girl. Would you ever sell your dolls? I do sell some of my dolls, not all of them. Um, quality control um, but when I do it will be on Instagram and you will see it and you will find out what do you do if it's too humid to use MSC do you have a room with good ventilation and a dehumidifier or do you just have to wait for a good day um, I cannot afford to wait for a good day if I have to spray I spray um, there hasn't been a moment where I have to spray indoors thank God living in Vegas the battle is with the wind Sometimes it's really dusty, um, never humid here really. I literally spray like this, and um, I mean it works. It's just really the dust and the wind. I have to clean up the face often after spraying, so yeah. How many times do you seal during the painting process? Why does it look so easy in your videos when you draw on a face? I seal my faces 20 times. The more you seal, the more obviously layers you have and it builds up the color. I remember when I first did my repaint and you guys can backtrack on my very first Raven Queen repaint, you will see how she was so faded looking and that's not because it, you know, she's been in storage, that's because I did not seal. I remember sealing Raven Queen only four times. I was like, spray and then do the eye, like actually doing the eye, coloring the eye spray again because it was not building up anymore and it won't let me add more eyes into it. Sprayed again. I was very very frugal with spraying MSC because it was so expensive and I was like oh my gosh I'm literally going to finish a can and you can see the before and after results so it's not great. Oh my god hi Steven. I use Derwin pencils too but my pencils always break from the tip even if I'm being gentle. Does this happen to you? Yes. Like you really have to not not even like draw it with it like you like almost not touch it there's a hairspray damaged sealant like msc i plan to make an updo hair in the future also what should i do first rebooting the doll hair first then make the updo or reboot it first so what i would do if i have to reroute and this is why i do wigs if i have to reroute i would reroute first do the face and then style if i'm going to spray it you have to cover it like this you have to take a a paper or tissue or something pin it here or just actually just hold it but for me I always use wigs so I would make the wig set the wig aside do the face and then put the wig on and it's already styled do you find it difficult to film your process while working how do you balance having the time and ability to not only make your lovely dolls but also document the process and edit the videos literally for my birthday I was asked what do you want for your birthday sleep what I want. I do have to say filming the doll makes it so much harder for the process. I mean I try I mean I, I do it. I make time I guess and I sacrifice sleep for it and that's why I buy like two uh, Trenta green tea lemonade from Starbucks every single day. Question why haven't you made a detox doll and that was from my sister. Um I mean, maybe I'll make you one for your birthday or something. I don't know. Can you speak another language? If yes, please speak it. I'm like multilingual. I speak Tagalog. Hello, mabuhay, mahal kita, kamusta kayo? Okay, that's... I mean, I can speak it well. I'm just adding an American accent. <laughs> that is so fa baby. Oh my god, I can't deal. I was born in LA, pero lumaki ako sa Pinas. Then, when I moved back to the US, I took Japanese. So, I... I'm not fluent in Japanese, however, I can, I guess, introduce myself. Konnichiwa, watashi no namai wa Christian desu. Hajime deshite! Kawaii! Everyone's like, stop saying kawaii! 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 Hello, hello kitty! K-k-k-kawaii! Hey, nyao, 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 nyao. 
Who is your drag mother or your drag inspiration? My goddess, Viola Chachki. Viola Chachki. Dita Von Teens. These um, three images are from Darian Doodles. I got them from DragCon. He had a booth and I think I bought it because he's also very, very cute. BTW. What is your favorite doll out of your My Little Pony? I actually like all of them because they're so different, I think, for me. Like, every single style is different and I pulled so many inspirations from different runways and just different assets and I like it. I like it. You cringe at your old doll repaint. Yes. Um, yes. I was like, why are you having this fake British accent? There was a lot. There was a lot of faces I had to go through. Is epoxy hard to work with and is the price worth it? The price is worth it because it's like clay. You don't have to bake it. You do have to be careful when you're touching it. The first time I used it, and mind you, I read the label. Wear gloves when handling this. I didn't wear gloves. And the next day after touching epoxy sculpt, my hands were so dry. I'm not even joking. So dry. I had to put lotion on every single hour, every single minute. And it was like falling off. My skin was like falling off. After that, I followed instructions. I wear gloves now. And I hate wearing gloves. But that is a wrap. Boop! I do hope I answered most of your questions. Yeah, so I just turned 25. But you know, I'm growing older and my body's changing and that's something I don't want to apologize for. If you guys are new, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see doll related doll repaint videos and if you want to see more behind the scenes and if you want to join the live stream i do go live on my instagram page at hexchin and if you want to see more of my personal life you can go follow me at christian.croy and all the links will be down below if you are interested so yeah thank you thank you thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video bye